Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. A sad, sad day indeed. Yes, this is the farewell video for or to my Atari STFM. It's the second Atari STFM I've ever owned. The first one I owned back in 88 and I sold a year later, like many of us Atari STMs at the time, not all of us, but many of us, for an Amiga 500 to upgrade to a much better sound and gameplay. Of course, obviously, after the ST port. And I still own my Amiga to this day, but years and years later on, I obtained another STFM, which is how I've got all my ST footage on my channel. But at the end of the day, I know I'm never ever going to play this system again. Uh, there's only a couple of games, such as now, what you're seeing, which isn't on the Amiga. But I can't see me ever playing any of these games again. And a friend of mine has come forward and wants my Atari STFM, so. 50 quid, maybe smile, you might as well, sat in the attic doing nothing with about 20 games. So what this is, is just saying farewell to it and playing a few games with it. So I hope you enjoy this little um, sad episode with me. But let's get on with it. This is Rana Rana, a classic, classic gauntlet type game. But we're going to do just one of the levels of the first dungeon, because each dungeon takes about two and a half hours. Um, and I am rusty on this. So we're going to play this first level. And C. Uh, got to try and turn the dungeons uh, blue, which means you've got all the all the um, warlocks or whatever they're called. I'm playing power ups. They're power up crystals, but I'm going to go this way because I need to make sure there's nothing up here. Oh, what do you know? There's one. Well, that's easy. So we just do that. Ah, done. Job done. Round and round and done. So now I've got to try and get all these. Come here. Oh, damn. Oh, we've got to get rid of that because more is appearing. That's a level thingy. You can go down levels, but I'm not going to. That shows you whereabouts you are in the dungeon. And you fill in the rooms as you uh, go along. There's nothing in there, let's get out of here. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of these things, because that's where they spawn. Nothing there. Uh, zap. Perfect. Nothing there. Zap that. Any secret doors? Nope. No, if you keep your finger on the fire button, it releases door. It depends what um, magic spell you've got. To be honest with you. Oh, there's another one. Come here. Put you over there. And no, you there. Thank you. This is the version I grew up with. Atari C. Sadly, never came out of the Amiga. Oh, I'm dead. So now I'm mortal. So I'm going to upgrade my power pretty bloody quickly. Um, and I don't know where I am right now, but I've got to get out of here. I know that. I need to find a power glyph. Power stones, what I need. Oh, come on, move. Sticky. Let's get rid of that so they don't spawn. Nope, nothing there. Oh, bugger. Quick, got to get a power stone. Just me in a room where there's none at all. There's one, perfect. Right, Whoa. So you can, um, there's four different defenses. So this is for power. And get up to, you get eight section, eight um, power levels and eight offense levels. Eight defense levels and eight effect levels. But you only get them when you collect the more powerful um, treasures after you've beaten the warlocks and uh, necromasters. Some nice sound effects there, a bit of digital sound effects there. So that's level five, level six. So it's further down the dungeons you go, the more deadly it is. So let's go back. I need to get 
some pat let's come off that and do that again right no so i want that one that'll do for now so at least now if i die again i've got another life i've got a feeling there's something in here nope Oh, I thought there was a door there. Door, my memory. Right, let's have a look. Where are we on here? Okay. Let's get on that. Oh, no, it didn't have much effect either. These are nasty, these co coin things. There's nothing there. And I'm going to bloody die again the way this is going. tell you what I could do with that. Come here. That's a power up. I needed that. Bit of a power top up that. Okay, that's easy enough. Oh. The wrap. Now I've got to grab these things before they vanish. I do. I'm still dying. Oh, there's a force. I might as well die anyway, go mortal. Yeah, I might as well just die anyway. Come on, someone kill me, I'm gonna die now anyway. Oh no, I can't, of course. I just realised I'm making a right cock up of this. Uh, so I was miles away, I was thinking something else I could do. So it's probably, now I am mortal. And I've got to find some parrots uh, pretty quick. I've got to find these warlocks, they're not very, um, not showing themselves at the moment. Oh yeah, we've got to check all these little rooms just in case. God, I did love this game. Eight dungeons altogether, which is a huge amount, right. Effect. No, I don't want effect. I don't want defense. Offense, I want power. Did it not let me select the power? Why didn't you let me select the power? I've got enough, haven't I? Let's have a look. No, it's, it's not letting me... Um... Mm, okay, anyway, well, let's see. I'm not quite sure what was happening there. Now, I've done all that. Warlocks. From levels 5 onwards, they become necromancers. Much harder. Oh, there's one. This is quite sad actually, because this is the last time I'm going to uh, be playing this game. Powerful bloody um I'm dying already. Uh, well, I'm now mortal, I know. I need to power up again. What would you stick me right there for? Can't remember where I've been now. And there's nothing there, is it? I've done this stage. Oh no, there's another room there, okay. Right, bugger. We'll go right round again. Yeah, let's get on one of these, shall we? Okay, there's still quite a bit more to look for. Yeah, I was mad on this game when I was a kid. you come from? Right, 
Right, any... Ooh, no, not no, a nice little room, you bastard. I've got to get out of here, no, well, that was useful, a little bit of a power up there. Horrible room. Am I still mortal? Shit, I am. Right, I'm not now. So, get off, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I definitely need a better firepower. Right, spell. Um, right, of course, hidden walls will appear. What's this one? Displays warlocks on map. That's right, yeah. Defense. It's hard to explain everything on this. Um, proof firepower. Yeah, there's a. It, it can be a complicated game, but it doesn't have to be. It's very, very good. Get rid of you, let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. Right, okay. Where are the bloody warlocks? Oh, thank you, that dude. I don't need them, I Oh, that means there's another door there, right? Yes, there is. Have some of that. God damn it, where are these warlocks? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Come here. Thank you. Nice little top up. somewhere. No, there's nothing there. They're well hidden. Bugger. There's nothing up there either, is there, right? So I need to... Let's see where I am on this map. Oh, God, you could be anywhere. You're well hidden. Damn. Right, um, okay. Let's go this way. There's got to be some area that I haven't tackled yet. Where? Shouldn't be any of them in there. I, I got rid of everything in the room. There we go. There's one. Right. Round around. Yes. Okay. Uh, excellent. No, there's still another one somewhere because the room is still red. You know when you got them all because they turned blue. So where the hell? To go, yeah, okay. I'll we'll go round, and I'm gonna bloody die now that I'm near this place. Typical. Oh, that was useful. A little bit of power up there. Come here, could do with you. Come here. This last ah, give me that first. Thank you. This has got to be the last one. Do 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 do. 
No, there's another one. Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh my god, look at that mess in there. I need that. And I need that. Two of them. Give me that and give me that. I want some better firepower. Screw it. Give me some better firepower. Um, got power three, power four, a fence. A deadly thunderbolt. Let's go for that and power through everything. Yeah. Look at that now. Now we're going to slaughter everything. You can shoot the warlocks as well, which is not a wise thing to do because you won't get the bonuses. There's a much more powerful firepower than that, a much more smaller plasma bolt, but lethal. You need that on the later levels. That's got to be it. And if it is, the screen will turn blue. Yes. Right, okay. Level done. Ooh. I don't know if I'm more or what am I? A protector spell. The spell is active, okay. Well, that's all right, I don't matter. <laughs> now you go to level two or three, but um, I'm not going to play those levels. I'm going to use the level skips to just show you the, the deeper dungeons. Level four. That's a bonus. <laughs> right, we're on level four. Oh, and there's a necromancer. He shouldn't be on level four. And level five. Much more harder. Less time. Oh. Uh. oh. That's it. You get much more firepower. Now. Um, stronger of bonuses now. Yeah, good. You need a more powerful weapon than this. Mind you, I'm gonna bloody die already. Come here, I can do with that and that, thank you. <laughs> what we got down here, come on, come down. Yeah, I'm not gonna play all this, I'm just um, show you a few of the levels. I'm going to go down even further. Come here. Actually, this might go back to level two or three. Sometimes they go up or down. No, level, so that'll be level three now. So we can just do that. We can... Um, let's see what... Uh, defense. Why is it coming off that for? Defense... Uh, Better defense, yeah, well, doors to appear, we know that. Displays warlocks, don't need that. Right, let's go back to, um, where am I? This spell is active. Let's go to that one. Right, let's get me out of here, so at least I can experiment on this level now. Oh, bloody hell, a necromancer. We'll end it here shortly. I want to play some more games to say farewell to my Atari ST. There we go. Um, oh, there's another one. Blimey. Rama, Rama. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but there we go. It's a brilliant game, but Mr. Programmer, why, oh, why, oh, why didn't you bloody include an ending? I can promise in a flipping... Um, you, give it, you can give a hint in the instructions that you could possibly return your power, uh, your form, and you can't. There's eight dungeons altogether. Both, they will take about two and a half hours each to complete. It's a lot. Christ. Ooh, come here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
long unless you've got a lot of power and I haven't been doing that I've been sort of deliberately trying to die here Now I'm mortal and I'm not going to last long on this now, so I think we're going to die anyway. I just want to try and find another um, level skipper so I can show you some of the other dungeons. long at all on this. Oh, it's everything has been thrown at me. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. You didn't give me anything, tight bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm being slaughtered here. And I'm mortal as well. I'm not going to lie. There we go. I'm dead. That's it. Obviously, I can't complete this game as far as the dungeons go. But um, I can't play this for hours. I want to play lots of different games. So there you go. Rana Rama. That's another game I will say farewell to. Bye bye. A tear in my eye. Yeah, takes me back a long, long time. That game's fantastic game, it really is. But there you go, that comes to an end again. It's on my channel, mind you, by the way, the complete first dungeon. And on that list, on that video, in the comments, I've pasted the names of all the eight dungeons. So if each dungeon takes about two and a half hours and you've got eight dungeons, you can imagine how long it takes. And then apparently, it loops over a couple of levels and then it just goes back to the beginning. It's never ending. And that's the sad, tragic thing. Never an ending. There should always be a goal. Right, well, anyway, that's Rana Rama, so let's get on with the next game. I wonder what we're going to play now. Oh, next game Barbarian 2 by Palace. The Dungeon of Drax. Never completed it back in the day, but I can complete it all the time now. I actually. Uh, hold the fastest speed run on the Amiga version which was just under four minutes you'll find that on my channel be very furious if I paid 25 pound game for a game and I completed it in just under four minutes but the Amiga version does have some much more special sound effects to it and there's a magnificent disc swap sequence which you don't get in the Atari ST but um, I'm also the first I'm blowing my own trumpet here big time to produce a long play for the Atari ST version on this channel if you'd like to see that and I did it on a live stream as well, I think. But uh, we'll have a little play about and just a couple of levels. Another game I'll say farewell to, a version of it anyway. It's got to wait until it's finished loading. Seems to take ages to load this game. No guitar music and the intro like the Amiga. So the Amiga version came out about a month or two afterwards. They really did upgrade that version as far as speed, sound effects, and music intro and the disc swap sequence. And even Drax's speech at the end. Well was slightly redone sounds a little bit it's great speech but it's been done differently the new mega version so let's choose um the usual dude 
to disk. Right, I'll do that now. Right. Level one. Like I said, I'm not going to um, play it all the way through. It's definitely a lot slower than the Amiga version. I'm so used to the Amiga version. I completely sped it up. But this didn't go down very well with most players. People, they didn't really want to play this. Oh, hell. Well, let's just die so I can get on the other side of him. Annoying. Annoying little runt. It's been a while anyway, I can't remember. Oh! Oh! Well, that's level one. I know that. Oh, no! Thought I was going to have your head then. Ducking my head chop. Git. Gotcha. That's level one already. Ooh. <laughs> Loading level two. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's sad to say, say goodbye to a console or a computer you've had in the day. But when you've got something stuck in the attic for so long, you're never going to play it again. I remember when the SC came out, it was like all us 8-bit owners were just so excited for it. And um, it was a little bit let down when we realised what the sound chip was like. And then, um, yeah, later on in the years, it just became a watered-down Amiga, really, didn't it? Let's face it. Yeah. But there's a couple of, well, one game, really, I kept it for Rana Rama. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's just time to sell. A mate of mine was offering um, 50 quid, so I thought I'd take it. Level 2. Right, let's go. Now, I can't remember the route. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm just saying good boy to Snoopy. Snoopy says hello, everyone, by the way. Um, because he... He carefully worked around all my um, leads on the floor. It's very delicate, that. Just to get onto the couch. Very thoughtful. God, that's heck, heck. I can't remember where I'm going. It's somewhere on here, but it's been such a long time since I've played this, actually. Well, it's not actually been a long time, but it feels like it. It's just I can't remember the damn route. Oh, and this fucking thing yeah there we go I hate this thing and I hated it on the Amiga as well and it's got me again see I hate this thing it's the worst baddie of all oh yeah no go on yeah let's get out of here fucking hate this thing excuse my language get out of here wait No. no. Oh, I nearly had you. I don't want to be kicked out of this screen because of that thing on the other side. Let's get out of here. What have we got here? Oh, no. Oh, it's alright. I've got him in the pattern. I've got him. God, I can't remember. Oh, I need to go there, you git. Screw it. I actually need to go that way. There you go, that's what I want. That's all I wanted. Let's get rid of you. <laughs> hey, it's level two done. I actually might bother completing this game now. You need that diamond to complete the game. So, uh, yeah. That's level two done. So you see that water drip in the background just by my axe. The Amiga version has got the sound effects for that. Let's get out of here. I want another disc now. Here we go. Another disc swap. Bear with me. Right, here we go. Level three. And um, as you can hear, or not, 
There's no sound effects in the background. Uh, the Amiga version includes a lot of distant sounds in the other parts of the dungeon. It's really creepy. So looking back, this does feel like a watered down Amiga version, but um, it's not really because this came out before. I wasn't planning to complete this, but I think I, I think I will now. I might have to continue though because I've um, I've messed up. But there's an extra life there. This guy's a little shit because he takes time. He's a little bastard on the 8 bits. You can't seem to bloody get to him. Right. Let's get that. I need an extra life. Right. Yes, and the key's here. So if I can just get that key, I think we can go on and complete this game now. Got to time these hits. Right. Come on, jump. Oh, I've got to fight him again now. You bastard. I didn't want to be trapped. See if I can cut his heart out. Come on. Nope. Oh well. You can't cut his heart out. Good jump. Good jump. Oh, that's easy. These ones are much quicker if you can just chop their heads off like that. Which helps me during my speed run. Yeah, you can stay there. I'm not coming that way. Go this way. Good. Oh, this guy's a little bastard. Oh, I was hoping I could get past, uh, jump past him. I hate this thing. Oh, I hate this slug. He's a bastard. I fucking hate it. Come on, one more it. <laughs> He's a little shit, and he? he really is. Get out of my way, you bastard. Come on, move. Right, level four. God, that was close. Now I should be able to complete this without dying now. I didn't really plan to do a long play of this, but when you nail it right, it's actually quite a quick game. So it was a farewell treat to my my beloved ST and you Atari ST fans. We might as well do a long play of this right now. Because I am going to complete this. Right. Last level. Oh dear, I fucked up. No, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm, I'm dead. I'm going to have to continue, I'm afraid. I should have completed this without dying. But I mistimed my jump. There you go. Dead. But let's complete the game anyway. Let's do it. That should have been a completion without dying. I completely messed that up. Right. That's what I wanted to do. But I didn't want to do that. I'm really messing this up, ain't I? What's going on? I'm not leaving it like this. Drax, you're going to die. I promise you. There we go. God, that's what we're supposed to do. Ooh. going to do it this time. Oh, no, I'm not. Zeus, what is wrong with you? This is not the way to go. See, I'm not used to the pace. It's slower. It, it, so it's messing with my rhythm. Right, this time.
Right, here we go. I'll stay back here. Come on, you. So I've got no protection either, so one hit from Drax and I'm dead as well. So I might not be able to do it. It all depends if his cycle. There we go. And I've got to jump over this without dying. Right. We meet, we meet again. again. Yeah, see, I it, it's a different it's a different pattern. Um, one more go. Should complete this. I don't know what's wrong with me. So used to the Amiga. Um, oh, die! You got to kill me now. I can't do anything with that. Yeah, it's a different uh, pattern as far as Drax goes. So let's try it once more. <laughs> okay. Slow. This is a slow. Come on. We'll start the next game regardless of this in a second. Oh dear, what a sad day. One of my computer game consoles or computer game machines, whatever you want to call it, is going. We meet again. Gotcha! There we go. Yeah, the speech, it's the same words, but it's done differently on the Amiga version. There's a lot more echo. And then it is you who will die. Yeah, but you don't return, do you? We can't finish the chapter. Palace went bust or sold to Titus, and Titus just cancelled all the future games. So there we go. That's Barbarian 2 for the Atari ST. Farewell, my friend. Nice to have played you. Might play you again one day, but probably for an emulator. But like I said, by this time... You were playing sort of watered down Amiga versions by then. ST ports for the Amiga became um, Amiga um, tune downs. It's around 90 when Shadow of Beast came out. That's when the Amiga started shrugging off the ST ports and became a machine on its own. And then all the ST versions became watered down Amiga versions. It's, it just flip flopped from one to the other. Right, next game. What are we going to play now? Let's wait and see. Oh, why not? Barbarian 1. Might as well start off with the original, mightn't we? Let's crack on with this. And, uh, gotta turn the music off. Gotta hear those sounds. Ew. Come on, chop his head off, yeah. Head off straight away, this guy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> yeah. I 
think the snake on the Amiga version, the snakes were blue on the sides. And uh, speech as well. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had you then. Get off here, git. Oh, wow, am I rusty. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's killed me straight away. Oh, well, I wasn't planning to put that up anyway, but sod it. I thought, no, let's do a decapitation. Screw it. So that's Barbarian 1. On with the next game. On with the next game to say farewell to on my Atari ST FM. Tears are starting to flow very shortly. Space Aria this time, another chapter of sadness, another game I'm not going to play again on the Atari ST, I loved this back in the day, and again another game I went to the Amiga afterwards, but um, I did like this Atari ST version. Slowish, bit jerkyish, choppy, but nonetheless I enjoyed it, so let's give it a last bash. And I used to do a kind of, I used to do sort of I think it was a figure eight, like that. Or maybe not. <laughs> I swear it's a figure eight I used to do. But anyway, I'm sorry, I've got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did play this game a lot back in the day. Oh! I'm definitely going to have to continue because this is whack. I'm not going out on level one. Do that. Get ready. Get clear. Oh dear, what a shame. Come on, let's continue. And I'm not dying on level bloody one. Putting the 80s in it. It's just got 80s written all over it. Look at the dragon now, yes I have. Yeah, it's going to be a bit sad, this chapter, but um, as I said, it's going to a good home. Not as if it's died and I'm thrown on the scrap heap. It's just I've got no need for it anymore. Damn, that was careless. I forgot it was multi-load. It's Atari STFM, if I didn't say that already. So it's the double-sided drive, one meg um, drive, whatever you call it. So it loads uh, double-sided discs. Ooh. Boys, oh, welcome to the fast. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. into that pillar, wasn't he? Cornering me. That's like that was. Uh, it's starting to feel a little bit sad now. It's a little bit of heartbreak in getting rid of one of the old consoles, computers. give it to someone who's going to appreciate it a bit more is what I say. Someone who's going to actually play it a lot more than I am right now. Can we continue again? 
Let's go and we're going to. Come on, come back here, git. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is the second one I've ever owned. Oh, actually, that's a lie. And I'm just about to sneeze. So I'm going to try and get out of the way first. I think I'm going to sneeze. Um, back in the day, back in 1988, I owned my original Tower STFM. Had that for a year and then upgraded to the Amiga. The majority of the only did back in the day. And yes, I did get another one, but it only lasted a few months because it, it just played up. And yeah, I actually remember skipping it because it just wasn't worth repairing. That's great. So this is my third, actually. So the first one was sold to someone at school at the time. £300 I got for it for that, which was pretty good. Because it wasn't for that kid getting the money from the parents and buying it after me. I wouldn't have been able to get my Amiga, I'd put another £100 to my Amiga. Went down to London, shipped in the Woodwards, bought my Amiga. Um, the second one I bought, which was about five years ago, yeah, that's right. I had to scrap it after a few months, it just wouldn't load anything, it kept playing up, and in the end it just wasn't worth repairing. And then I got this one that I'm actually selling. So two have been sold and one was skipped. But yeah, this this uh, the reason I got this third one is because there was um, game footage I wanted to get at the time, which I couldn't to my channel. But now I've got everything I wanted to do. It's um, it's time for it to go to another another play, and, and that someone who's going to appreciate it a bit more. And I also have um, an Amstrad six one two eight mint condition. I'm probably going to sell that as well because I never play it. But all my other stuff will not be for sale. Never get rid of my Toast Rack 1 to 8K models, Spectrums, all my Amiga. I've had my Amiga now for 31, 30 years. 30, 31 years. And it's not yellowed. It's not gone to the repair shop once. I've got a good one. Bible. Oh, this nasty level there, yeah, these posts, you can't, you've got to weave in and out of them, otherwise you're going to die! No, I oh, want to bloody aim straight for all that. Get ready. <laughs> straight for it, it was there to be hit. Oof, that's close. Because the floor is going a lot faster, you, you, you don't... You, Oh, you can't judge the speed of the posts. Oh, no, 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 they're going to get me, they're going to get me. They're going to get me. Well, the post got me. Is that it? Game over. There we go. Oh well, another game I won't play again on the Atari ST Space Area and a really nice version too. I always liked that when I was younger. A um, bit of a small play area, I've got to admit. The Amiga version is completely overscanned. Vastly massive play area. This is very small in comparison, but I like the way it plays. I like the tune. I, I like it. I did like it back in the day and I still like it now. So what's the next game we're going to play for the last time? Let's have a look. Could it be a good one? Could it be a bad one? Um, let's wait and see, shall we? Well, I wonder what this game is. Can anyone guess it from this tune? I very much doubt it. But then again, you might be able to. It's doing a lot of de-crunching at the minute. And it's not a very good conversion at all. It really isn't. But... As it was in within arm's reach, I thought, let's play this one more time. Got it on the Amiga, which is just as bad. It's literally a direct port. It's Renegade. The Bee Gees version, because they're bloody dentures. Yes, uh, not the best version, I've got to say. 
not a good version to play. Play the bloody um, 1 to 8k spectrum version. It's also got a throw move on that. So come on, boom, boom, that's it. I actually like the sounds of this ver version better than the Amiga. The Amiga version had a terrible back kick noise, it was awful. <laughs> I can do both of them there. Excuse my language again. You know, can I? Let's get rid of you. That's <laughs> oh, easy now. I can't lose here. Yeah, it's a bad version. Some games are meant to live and die on the um, 8 bits and not be brought to life on the 16 bits, and this is one of them. Same as Chucky Egg, Jet Set Willy. There's just some games that are not meant to live on the 16 bits. It's a much more powerful machine, and these 8 bit games, you can't really improve on them when they're so good to play to begin with on 8 bits. You, there's no point even trying to bring them with 16 bits, because you're going to ruin them. Oh, blimey, that's bugged. That was very bugged. It wasn't like that last time. Bloody dentures on this guy. <laughs> it's the Bee Gees version of Renegade. Right, okay. See, look how jerky it is. It's bloody awful. I don't know what they were thinking. This is ocean. I think it was. Lining them up, screw it. Oh, we've got wallop there. Oh, I got wallop by him again. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Right, okay, you're proving to be a bit of a problem, aren't you? You've been a git. Can I go down a little bit and nope. Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? <laughs> the collision detection is awful. Okay. Come on. Got you. No. Oh, is that blue bloke still alive? I don't believe it. Yeah, you got to be dead now. Come on, you. Terrible. It's so jerky, it's awful, it's not even funny. Damn it. Oh, I don't want to play again. That's no good, is it? Right, okay. I'm going to have to change tactics here a bit. It. And you, yeah. Bugger. That's it, good. Let's get rid of some of these bastards. One. Oh, you sod. Oi! Yeah, you just stay there, hopefully. No, alright. Oh, bloody hell. Now, maybe. Maybe, yes. Same tactic as level one. 
Yeah, I do like the music and the tunes. It's the same tunes, but I, I like the arrangement better on this than the Amiga version. Right, there we go. Oh, it's not. Please don't tell me. I said no. I got past it. That's cool. It's going to cheat me out the level then. I hope it hasn't. Eh, wasn't good. I'm glad Target Renegade didn't come out on Amiga. All the ST. It wouldn't have worked. I think this came straight out on a budget price, to be honest with you. I'm still on the floor. From, look at Big Bertha. I mean, she doesn't even bloody um, run like the arcade. The arcade version, she runs 100 mile an hour across the screen. But not on this version. Just waddles across. Oh, that's uh, that's energy. That heart, I think. It's coming over here. I could do with that. Oh, oh, it's an extra life. What do you know? Damn it! I'm not going to get anywhere on this. Stupid bloody... That's it. Don't tell me I can do this to Big Bertha as well. That's ridiculous. She would absolutely slaughter me on the 8-bit versions and the arcade. It looks like I'm going to just <laughs> do this as well. Oh, you check out my Amiga long play of this. The back kick noise is terrible. There we go, nicely, nicely. Right, now we've got the knifers. And um, I can't get, usually can't get past these guys. Oh, he was just about to stab me. Any, oh, no, I couldn't even get out of the way. It's so slow and jerky. Oh, this is awful, this version. It really is. Absolutely unplayable. Why are you sitting down for? Oof. Can I do this? I don't think I've ever got past this level. Come here. What is that? Is that energy? There's no point in having energy. What is that? Oh, it's gone. Come here. What are you? Oh. You know what? I've never done that level before without cheats. Never. So we're on to level five now. Oh, didn't do very well there, did I? Oh, he shot me. Has he shot me? Oh, his bullets don't, um... His bullets don't seem to kill me. Oh, no. No, his bullets don't kill me on, on the, um... No, on the 8 bits in the arcade, he, he kills you straight away. With a bullet. Head. No, I ain't gonna do this. Nope. Give you a few slaps, even though it won't get your energy down, but it will it'll get you down a bit. Stab. Oh, yeah. One life and uh, it's game over. Oh, come on. Hard. I've been stabbed already. I can't do this level. It's too hard. Oh, 
I wasn't even in line with that bullet at that time. Ooh, it's hard to get out of the way of these guys. It's just so bloody jerky. Oh no, it's too slow to respond. He's just stabbed me. Game over, Renegade. And bye bye, Renegade on the Atari ST. Won't be playing you again on this format. Oh dear, it's getting sad now. I think a few more games I'm going to play here. And that'll be it, closing a chapter on the Atari ST in my life. But as I said, it's going to a new home. Right, let's get on with the next one. I wonder what the next game's going to be for the last time. Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold Robocop. In fairness, not a very good conversion. Amiga was an ST port as well. For the ST and Amiga, should have been a lot better. Really should have been, but uh, it is what it is, and some people seem to like it. Um, absolute classic on the spectrum, it would top the charts for God knows how many months. Let's have a go. This has been a while since I played this. I'm gonna put cheats on, but not bother. See, it's got a huge uh, frame, a little tiny screen. I don't know what I was thinking. Very small play area. Time game. Yeah, very small screen, small characters as well. Could have been, should have been better than this. Fairness. Oh, it's a hit there, didn't I? Oh, so I got you. That's it. Give me the gun, mate. How do you jump? I think it's oh yeah, like that. Energy already, not doing too well. Oh, no, I'm not doing too well. Yeah, got you. Where's the duck pass? Oh, blimey. Oh, squashed. I didn't think he'd come that far forward. Let's try that again. Yeah, I didn't think he'd come all the way to the left-hand side of the screen like that. Let's try that again. Come on. now. That's making me feel old. Uh. Yeah, give me that gun. Digitized picture there. Come on. <laughs> oh dear. Do 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 do
Do do do do do do do do do do do do Ridiculous. Am I this sh I was about to say something else. Am I that awful at this game? <laughs> Definitely not my last go. Can't even get past level one. What am I doing wrong? You can't run away from him and get enough room. I'm shooting like crazy that time and I still couldn't get him. this on the arcade. On the arcade PCB of this. Right, time to shoot, boys. Time to shoot. That. Yes! Oh no! Double knockout! Forget it. <laughs> I'm playing this again. Oh, screw it. <laughs> bye bye, Robocop on the Atari ST. Not playing you again. <laughs> right, got a couple left. Let's see what we got next. Enduro Racer. One of those games that never came out on the Amiga, along with Rana Rana, which I really wish would get ported, but um, even to this day, but so far, no signs of either of them. Yeah, I used to love this back in the day. Um, couldn't get very far now, I got to level 3 without cheats, but we're actually going to long play this because it's a short game. I'm going to stick the old um, uh, time cheat in. So, um, what we need to do first is uh, get up to games, so just bear with me. Sorry about that, I had to go over the keyboard and do it because my mouse wasn't working, so I've just whacked in a load of time. It's long play, screw it. It's not a very long game. Back you go. Put bloody rocks in the middle of the road. Talk about dangerous. Whoa. Oh, get out of my way. Ooh, that was a quick turn. Forgot about that. Oh, you... Oh! Bloody road tricked me. Do, 
And he's got his, look at that. How can you possibly um, avoid that? Uh, come on. That's it. What a freaking great truck. Hey, hey, ooh. Now I'm going to go straight for the truck. Oh no, I just missed it. Oh, blimey! What did I hit there? Yeah, it's about as far as I can get on the, um, without the sheet. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna sick. Kill, blimey. Get on that part. Boy, the bloody bike pushed me right into that. You little bastard. Great, thanks very much. Yeah, just kill me, why don't you? <laughs> extra time and I'm still not going to do it. Come on. Come on. Get jumping that high in the air, I can't seem to do that at the moment. All I seem to do is drown and crash. Come on. Get over there. Right. Yeah, thank you very much. Hmm. This came in my, um, I think it was called the Summer Pack, and I bought my ST back in the day. It came with about 20 Summer Games, Brian Arama was one of them. This was another. Plutos, I think, was another one. Simple little shooter, which um, is a little warm part in my heart. I, I do uh, have a nice little space in my heart for that little game for some reason. Hey, there we go. Got the big one that time. Whoops. Yeah. Well, we've got one more game where we we'll see out my Atari ST. It'll be the final game I ever play on the Atari ST. And I didn't deliberately save it to the end. Um, it's just the way it's been on the pile of discs. Um, it's another racer. That's all I say. Oh, come on, this bit's annoying. Just go. Just bloody go, will you? It's getting annoying, stupid part of the level. Come on. <laughs> Comedy gold. No, what are you going over there for? Come on. Yeah. Right into the tree, bush. You bastards, you other ones don't climb into the trees, do you? You guys have got a different type of cheat going on. Must be near the end now. Splosh. <laughs> Drown. Oh my god, 20 odd seconds left, maybe I should quickly put a bit more cheat time on. I can't believe I put a load of time in there, I still ain't gonna do it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Oh well, there's Enduro Racer. Last time I'm ever gonna play that. Long played, with a cheat of course. I don't think I can type anything from here. And... Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, 
Let's see the last game on then. Let's see what that is. Um, super hang on. Super hang on. Here we go. The very last game of this video and the very last game I'm ever going to play on my Atari STFM or any other Atari ST. And now, yes, it's getting a little bit, um, a little bit sad, but it's, it is what it is. It's got to go. Um, I don't need it anymore. I've recorded everything I wanted to on it. And uh, as I said before, it's going to a another friend of mine who's going to enjoy it more than I will. So, right. Anyway, it's uh, controlled by mouse. No, I want to control by joystick which is what I'm doing let's go for expert and, um, oh that'll do loved this on my Atari ST back in the day because they put outrun to shame I mean yeah it's choppy Ooh. oh that was pathetic it's choppy you know but it works it plays well it's all right so the straight a little bit slow in responding of course it's it's really beefed up electric dreams really beefed up this on the amiga um, the engine noise and the skid, the tyre skid noise on the Amiga version is incredible. It's much better than the, as far as I'm concerned, better than the arcade. As far as the sound effects, brilliant. See, that's that's naughty. That is, it tells you to go one way and tries to kill you. Oh. And it's a faster frame rate as well, the Amiga. So the Amiga has taken this and has beefed it up in all areas. But it's not taking it away. I did like playing this version back in the day. I did enjoy it. And now the end is near. My Atari ST is leaving me. It's going to another home to be played by another gamer. Lived with it for quite a few years. I've got my friends to play with me on the computer. But oh, it's come to this. It's leaving me. Actually, I'm not saying it. I told you that. Yeah, 50 quid in it. Better kick up the arse, innit? Oh! to get past stage four it all put down to be crashing on the first stage Three, two one oh game over unlike other races it doesn't let you drift over the line once your time's up it's stopped dead there you go oh, and then one more game um no, let's stick with this. I don't have to do any loading because it's already loaded in. Right, go, go, go. Break. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. <laughs> now that's the first stage of this. Sharp corners. Roads that want to steer you to the other way and kill you. But because of that crash already, I doubt if I'm going to get past level 4 again. Did it again so it said turn right and it's a turn left that's really naughty bad news that is bad news
great. Well, I ain't even going to get past stage two on this. Screw it. Let's kill our time and try another course. There, yeah, right. Uh, let's try... Yeah, let's go for that one. Be a bit of loading now, though, I think, because I've changed the course. Yeah, a little bit of loading. All oh, right, the last closing moments of this video and closing moments of saying farewell to the Atari STFM, my Atari STFM. I hope you enjoyed this little um, trip with me. I was tempted to do this on via a live stream, but uh, things can go a lot wrong on a, on a live stream, as I found out. I've done plenty of then about 16 live streams myself. They're on my channel. If you look for them, just type Zeus Daz live stream, you'll find them. And, uh, good laughs, actually. Um, met quite a few new people on there. Got a good crowd going. Yeah, look at that straight road. That's it. Keep going. Choppy, choppy, choppy a bit there. No, no, thank you very much. Get out of my way. Done it again. Short corner. It's a gradual corner. Ooh, nice to get through. Ooh, between those two. The hard stage. There's two stages of each background, one's always harder than the other. Quite a bit of Ted, whoa, Turbo kicked in now. This looks like this is the easier of the two. Yeah, so this is probably going to have sharp corners. No. Oh. Actually, did. Oh. Bloody hell. Yeah. There's a little tear to the eye, this. It takes me about 30 years. Where has the last bloody 10 years gone? I have no idea if somebody could possibly tell me. My, uh, my brain might be able to accept it, but um, I have no idea what the last bloody 10 years have gone. It's just been ridiculous. We're coming up to 2020. It literally is on the doorstep of 2020. By the time I've uploaded this, we might be in 2020. It's only a couple of days before now. But it's scary. It really is. It's bloody 2030 for you now. Oh, the thought of it. I'm doing all right this time, am I? Oh, that was careless. It does take a bit slower to respond. Sensitivity, I could have put that on a bit higher. Just, just manage it. I'm definitely going to do this level. Got nowhere near enough time. See, look at that. It tells me to go right and it's left. What a bastard. I do like sunset levels on racing games. I don't know why, I just do. it oh look at that it was right on the board there checkpoint was right there no don't get my name so 
that is it that is the atari st farewell video come to a close thank you very much for joining me and let's all say farewell mr atari stfm enjoy your new happy home and it will be the last time i ever plan one that's my third one no reason why i'll get another one i wouldn't no need no need at all but um yeah for us tari st lovers you can rest assured that i'm not scrapping it or throwing it in a skip of any kind it's going to a to a mate who's gonna have fun with it so okay that's about it from me a chapter is closed in my gaming life and the chapter has closed here on the channel atari stfm farewell i knew you well all the best may you play well live long and prosper see you later guys zeus out <laughs>